हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल आई नो ऑल ऑफ यू आर सेफ एंड फाइन वेरी गुड सो हाउ इज योर दिवाली वेकेशंस ओके गुड सो आफ्टर फिनिशिंग आवर दिवाली वेकेशंस now we will start our next session towards semester 2 okay and from that first we will start our unit test 2 right okay then so all of you are ready for this okay very good so today we will see from our evs1 subject lesson number 19 that is constituents of food and for that every one of you please open your evs1 textbook and from that page number 96 so be ready so first point that is can you recall what is mean by diet for what purposes do we need food what are the different tastes that food stuffs have and last when how do we experience these tastes i know all of you are aware about what is mean by diet am i right how tell me yes in the previous standard all of you have already learned about what is mean by diet but still let's see once again that is what is mean by diet okay so a diet is all that we consume in a day and a balanced diet is a diet that contains an adequate quantity of the nutrients that we require in a day right healthy diet doesn't mean eating especially chosen food or avoiding eating other substances this way is not right because we can deprive our body of important nutrients eaten food is full of protein sugar fats vitamins etc which are indispensable for us when we do not get sufficient number of nutrients for our body it can stop working in the right way okay and that's why we need food right okay then so we should limit eating some substances but not eating at all is not a good idea understood so in short what it means it means that our daily diet should contain all the different types of food items right okay then you have learned that food stuffs have constituents that are useful to us in different ways let us learn some more about the constituents of food okay and for that they are giving us one activity that is try this so next point is carbohydrates for that they are giving us one activity 
try this materials a piece of a potato tincture of iodine and a dropper then procedure what to do see here add some water to a tincture of iodine to dilute it then using a dropper put a few drops of it on the piece of potato and observe so what do you see the piece of potato turns a blackish blue correct okay so what's the reason behind it it means that there is presence of starch okay okay then see next that is what it means starch starch turns blackish blue when it comes in contact with iodine so we can infer that there is starch in the potato okay then sego that is in marathi sabudana and sweet potato also contain starch then cereals like jowar bajra wheat rice contain a lot of starch we obtain flour from these grains right we are using these grain flours in our day to day life these grains form our staple diet we get energy from these starchy substances or foods our body uses this energy for different kinds of work right because in day to day life we are doing lot of works and for this work from where we do we get the energy right from different types of food so this energy also keeps the body suitably warm okay so next point that is do you know when the starchy foods we eat are digested sugars are formed these sugars burn slowly in all parts of our body releasing energy in other words sugars form by the digestion of starch act as fuel for our body okay it means that like other substances our body need starchy substances too am i right okay good so today we will stop over here only but before end up our today's session i want to ask you about our evs1 activity i know all of you have already completed your evs1 activity okay but still those who have not get completed it please complete it and send it to your respective class teachers okay okay then next part of this lesson we get continue in our next period okay then bye bye see you soon
हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग टू वन एंड ऑल लेट्स स्टार्ट ईवीएस वन सब्जेक्ट एंड फ्रॉम दैट वी विल कंटिन्यू लेसन नंबर नाइनटीन दैट इज कंस्टिट्यूएंट्स ऑफ फूड बिफोर स्टार्ट आर टूडेज सेशन लेट्स रिकैप वॉट वी हैड लर्न इन लास्ट पीरियड ओके वॉट इज मीन बाय डाइट देन वॉट इज मीन बाय बैलेंस डाइट देन वॉट इज मीन बाय स्टार्ची फूड इन विच फूड कंटेन्स द स्टार्च राइट देन हाउ इट गेट डाइजेस्टेड इन आर बॉडी एंड वॉट वी विल गेट फ्रॉम स्टार्ची फूड्स राइट All these things already we had learned. Right now, we know that from starchy foods we will get sugars, right? So, our today's next topic is sugars. Food stuffs that taste sweet contain different kinds of sugars, right? For example, we can obtain jaggery and table sugar. From where? All of you know the answer. Yes, right. From sugar cane. Correct. Why? Because it contains a sugar called sucrose. Okay. Then. like that ripe fruits like mango banana chiku as also honey and milk also contain various kinds of sugars okay they too gives us energy and that's why we want to eat any fruit every day understood it means that not only from jaggery or table sugar we get the sugar then also we get the sugar from different kinds of fruits also right okay then then every one of you open your textbook page number 97 here they given us one experiment to do okay what is that our day to day lives experiment which one is that and i know every one of you know this experiment okay let's see which one it is so children commonly when your mother made a chapati or bhakri for that she will take flour correct but before that we want to complete one procedure you know which procedure is there yes right what sifting the flour okay so most of the flour falls through the sieve right but you know that after sifting some larger particles of that particular flour are left on the sieve okay and i know all of you had seen this type of procedure at your home am i right okay so you know what that larger particles which are remain on that sieve what is exactly that okay we can see it in a next video so next point is fiber when grain 
लाइक जो आर वीट इज ग्राउंड इन टू फ्लॉर सम पार्टिकल्स फ्रॉम दैट फ्लॉर आर नॉट ऑल अ लाइक राइट एंड दैट्स वाई वी वॉन्ट टू सीप द फ्लॉर वैन वी वॉन्ट टू मेड समथिंग फ्रॉम दैट फ्लॉर ओके सो वैन द फ्लॉर इज सिफ्टेड we find larger particles left behind on the sieve right and these particles are known as bran of the grain okay so this bran is a fibrous substances okay it means that this substance is also important for our body okay because it helps in the process of digestion fiber has a special function because this type of fibrous substances help the food to move forward in the elementary canal at the right speed understood all of you the undigested food is of no use to our body correct so these fibrous substances helps to form stool from this undigested food in our body okay and that's why digestion process in our body get easy fiber is also called roughage okay what we known as roughage okay now we will see where it contains fruits and vegetables especially their skins whole grains and pulses are all sources of fiber in food if our food does not contain enough fiber it can lead to constipation okay now what is mean by constipation it is a condition in which there is difficulty in emptying the bowels okay so up to now we have learned about three types of substances present in our body right that is starch sugar and fiber these substances are together called carbohydrates the most important use of carbohydrates is to provide the body with full on energy okay and that's why it get compulsory to each and every one to include all these types of food every day in our diet understood okay then so let we will stop over here today only see you bye bye good morning to all my dear students let me continue evs one subject and from that lesson number 19 that is 
constituents of food and our today's topic is about fats oil is a fatty substance paper becomes translucent when a fatty substance is applied to it it become translucent is a sign of the presence of fats in the food stuff kept on it all of you aware about it right no when you buy some fatty food stuffs from outside or when you made some fatty food stuffs at your home at that time when we kept all these substances on the paper that paper becomes what translucent right it means that fats in our food also provide energy to our body okay they give twice as much energy as carbohydrates but we include a smaller quantity of this constituent in our diet okay we need a very small quantity of this fatty substances in our diet cream butter ghee oil are examples of fats then like that nuts meat egg yolk also contains fats okay the fats we eat get stored in our body if food is not available for some time the body can get energy from the stored fats there is a layer of fat under our skin it gives shape to the body and like a blanket also prevents loss of heat from the body okay it means that these fatty substances provide heat and energy to our body for example you know why are boxes of fragile articles fragile means object which are easily broken or damage like tv refrigerator light bulbs glasses mirrors pack with corrugated cardboard thermocol or bubble wrap okay i know all of you have seen this picture right okay so what's the reason behind this so see here the cardboard thermocol or bubble wrap protect the fragile articles even when the boxes shake fall or get hit the articles inside that box are not get damage correct okay so like this example the layer of fat in the body protects our internal organs an injury from outside does not at once cause damage to our bones or other internal organs 
understood and that's why we need fatty substance in our body we require fatty substances in very small proportion right but it works a main and important role in our body okay when we need to build a wall you know what material we need tell me please yes one by one first cement sand water then stones and bricks right okay so here just as stones and bricks are the building blocks which are needed for a wall like that proteins are the building blocks of our body understood okay it means that the main and important building blocks of our body are proteins the body undergoes wear and tear continuously correct sometimes it gets injured but the healing and repair of our body goes on all the time without are being aware of it right sometimes due to some physical accident our body parts get injured correct but without knowing us it get repaired also inside in our body due to presence of proteins so proteins are necessary for that purpose only proteins are required in plenty during the growing years of a person's life understood okay so now we will see in which food proteins get present okay so see here all the different dals then pulses ground nuts then milk and milk products like yogurt khoya and paneer then eggs meat and fish are rich sources of proteins so our daily diet should include dals pulses as well as milk and milk products so you know what our body requires carbohydrates then fats and proteins also in large proportions okay so all these food constituents together called macronutrients what we known as that is macronutrients which are those carbohydrates fats and proteins understood all of you i hope all of you understood today's topic that is about fats and proteins okay so here macro word itself tells us in a large proportion okay and that's why we call them as a 
macronutrients okay so every one of you please read this lesson up to this point so today we will stop here only in next period we can see about other nutrients understood okay then bye bye see you soon good morning my dear students let me continue our evs one subject and from that remaining part of lesson number 19 that is constituents of food in last period already we had learned about macronutrients that is it contains carbohydrates fats and proteins correct so in addition to the macronutrients we need certain food constituents in very small quantities and which are known as micronutrients so which are those that is vitamins and minerals okay these are very essential micronutrients to our body so first point is vitamins there are different types of vitamins name using the letters of the alphabet for example vitamin a b c d e and k are the most important vitamins although we need these vitamins in very small quantities a lack or deficiency of any vitamin results in serious disorders for example due to deficiency of vitamin a it get causes night blindness okay it means we cannot see anything at night then second example a deficiency of vitamin d it results in weak and brittle bones so vitamins gives us the ability to resist diseases and that's why we need all types of vitamins necessary for our body building understood okay then now next point is minerals what it means see here iron calcium sodium potassium are some important minerals they are needed in very small quantities but they have an important part to play in all the necessary functions of our body it means that vitamins and minerals we need in very small quantities but still they are playing a very very important role in our body okay for example iron is necessary for carrying oxygen to different parts of the body but due to deficiency or lack of iron what happen the body does not get enough supply of oxygen and that's why one feels constantly weak and tired 
okay and this condition is called anemia okay the mineral calcium makes our bones very strong and that's why we need this mineral that is iron potassium calcium and so on okay all kinds of fruits vegetables green leafy vegetables sprouted pulses their skins and the bran of cereals and pulses are all sources of vitamins and minerals that is why as far as possible we should eat fruits with their skins and we should not save flour to throw away the bran okay it means that we have to compulsorily eat all the fruits with their skins understood and do not save the flour okay because we want to eat flour with the bran then eat in large amount all types of different vegetables and different green leafy vegetables also understood because all these contains the major sources of vitamins and minerals okay now next point that is a balanced diet what it means exactly see here what do we tell about ourselves when we say i am fit and fine yes when someone is asking us that whether you are fit and fine then what do we tell them yes we are fit and fine but is it true okay now see here being fit and fine means that we have enough strength and energy to study play and carry out all our tasks quite easily correct when we say that we are fit and fine it means we have that much strength and energy in us to do any type of work easily correct our body is growing well and we do not fall ill every now and then also okay when this get happen at that time only we can say we are fit and fine only understood okay we all wish to be in good health am i right for example right now in this pandemic situation we all wish the same correct so for good health our body should get all the different constituents of food for example carbohydrates proteins fats vitamins and minerals in the right quantities correct a diet which provides all these constituents in the right quantities is called a balanced diet it means that a diet which provides all these constituents which when carbohydrates proteins fats vitamins and minerals in the right quantities that type of diet only called a balanced diet i hope all of you understood right now the definition of balanced diet correct okay good so now tell me one thing that do we get all the different constituents of food from a meal 
that consists of a green veg thali pet eaten with yogurt is it possible yes or no okay no right because we want all the types of food atoms in our diet correct so for that they given us one chart over here have you seen this chart okay see here first food now which types of foods are there see here first one energy giving foods then body building foods and foods necessary for bodily processes and resistance to diseases which are fight to with the different types of diseases that type of food right okay now see first one that is energy giving foods contains carbohydrates and fats right okay then second one body building foods contain proteins okay and last one which are necessary for our bodily processes and resistance to diseases contains vitamins and minerals okay it means all this type of different foods we need for our body okay okay now next point that is do you know in that first point is one eatable many constituents means from every food item in our diet we get several constituents of food right means different types of food gives us different types of constituents but here they given us different types of examples that only one food item contains different types of many constituents okay for example first they given us chikki or gudani so every one of you know this food item chikki okay so what it contains anybody tells me okay it contains yes right nuts then what jaggery ghee etc right okay so you know from the nuts proteins fats and carbohydrates and from the jaggery we get sugar and iron okay second food atom that is banana you know we get sugar some minerals and fiber from banana okay then next example of boiled eggs it gives us different types of proteins fats some vitamins and minerals okay it means all of you understood when we eat only one food atom but it gives us different types of constituents okay we need variety in our diet to get all the types of food constituents so today we will stop here only i hope all of you understood this lesson up to this point okay thank you so much bye bye hello my dear students so let's start our today's session from evs1 subject and we will continue lesson number 19 that is constituents of food okay in last period we had learned about vitamins then minerals then what is mean by a balanced diet which constituents contains in balanced diet and all okay 
So today we will see our next point that is nourishment and malnutrition. Okay. So let's start. Right now all of you know that if we want our body to be well nourished, we must get all the different types of food constituents in our diet but in the right quantities correct okay so if a person's diet lacks some constituents for a long period of time that person does not get proper nourishment right if someone is not getting some particular food constituents for a long period of time then that that person does not get proper nourishment so malnutrition has serious consequences for that person's health understood okay for example if a person does not get enough carbohydrates and proteins their growth is stunted okay they feel constantly tired they cannot cope with their studies or games or other tasks deficiencies of vitamins and minerals also cause some specific disorders okay and so for all this every one of you please get understood that that's why we need each and every food constituents in our daily diet okay you know there are some misconceptions about diet if a child eats sweets chocolates cakes fried stuff etc and grows fat so some people think that the child is healthy right what could happen if particular child eats only sweets chocolates cakes or any fried stuff so that child grows fat so what do we think that that child is healthy but if you eat only one kind of food stuff your body does not get all the necessary food constituents right no for example daily if you eat only chocolates or any your favorite food item do you get all the food constituents from that particular food no and our body needs all the different types of food constituents right so it is very very important to eat all the food items otherwise such a person would be mal nourished okay understood what is mean by malnutrition okay so here on the screen i am showing you some pictures of the children those who are not getting proper food nourishment right and that's why their growth is stunted and this situation is known as malnutrition okay so for avoiding this we want to include all the food constituents in our daily diet always remember 
it is better to eat freshly prepared food items that will make for a balanced diet rather than snack on tempting or some ready made foods those you can see in the market understood it means that you have to eat only freshly prepared food items which get made at your home only right okay now what we have learned first point the body gets energy from where from carbohydrates then second point proteins are necessary for the growth of the body as well as for the repair of the wear and tear of the body okay then third point our body gets energy from fats too next point although our body needs vitamins and minerals in small quantities a deficiency of any of them can lead to a disease or disorder correct okay the next point fruits vegetables and their skins then cereals and pulses are all sources of fiber then next point from each of the food items that we eat we get more than one food constituent then if the diet does not include all the food constituents in the right proportions it leads to malnutrition and last point that is malnutrition has serious consequences for a person's health okay i hope all of you understood all these points from this lesson okay then if you have not understood any point from this lesson please watch this video two or three times okay then read this lesson two times and please complete your writing work which is related to this lesson okay okay then see you bye bye